This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, January 26, 2018. The title of this rant is, The GOP Never Has and Never Will Have Any Moral Authority. So the GOP is always talking about how they want to protect the people, they want to have the moral standards, this is all about God and country, and three things happened this week which indicate very clearly they only care about themselves, they don't care about anyone else, and they don't care who they hurt to get what they want. So the first one was, and it's been going on for a little bit, but the GOP and members of the House and Senate have actively been uh, attacking, knowing at the same time that it is all a complete bogus, phony, fraud lie that the FBI and the Justice Department have some type of deep state conspiracy going on that is there strictly to bring down uh, the purveyor of evil. They've known it as a complete lie, and of course, in the last two days it's been exposed, now Fox News isn't talking about it at all. But they have been, they were hyping that all over the place, especially the secret memo, which <laughs> really was nothing secret about it. Second thing is, is that they continue to put enormous restrictions on DACA recipients, on allowing them to stay and possibly having them come, become United States citizens. So the example is they put out something yesterday uh, and it says, I think it said 10 to 12 years to become a U.S. citizen. So if you came here at two, you're now age 19 and it's going to be another 12 years. You're going to be over 31 then this is the only country that you've ever known that you can actually truly be eligible to become a United States citizen. Because remember, inflicting pain on people of color is what the Republicans do. And then the third thing, of course, it's been out a little bit, but it's been completely uh, brought out, is that the GOP had nothing to say when it was revealed that the betrayer of trust paid off a, uh, let's just call it an adult film actress uh, for an affair that happened in 2006, was paid off two weeks before the election in 2016 to keep her mouth shut so that she wouldn't bring, bring that about. Uh, not a peep. Out of, out, out, out of anyone. Neither McConnell nor Paul Ryan says anything. And of course, the white religious right basically gave him a pass. One of them said he gets a mulligan, and then another one said he's a completely different human being than he was 10 years ago. Now remember, 10 years ago, uh, when um, Mr. Minority was banging this lady, he had only been married for about a year and his son Bart was only a couple months old. Yeah, that is really, <laughs> that's what the religious right, white right thinks about that. It's okay. He gets a mulligan on that. And of course, I ask you, what would happen if Obama you know, had, had done something like that? Uh, those white religious right people would have been aghast. They would have been all over the news. They would have been screaming and yelling. You know, that we got to get this guy out of here, you know. And of course, there would have been a lot of racial things tinged with that also. So the GOP is basically willing um, to go after the highest, uh, um, our, our, our most important institutions, the FBI and the Justice Department, to, for their own political gains. Uh, they continue to be enthusiastically wanting to inflict pain on DACA and everyone else that's related to this whole thing. And they completely brush off any type of an affair that uh, the, the loser had. And, and why is this all going about? Three or four reasons. Number one, tax cuts to the wealthy, which is basically mostly white males, uh, an increase in pollution, uh, a decrease in regulation, and uh, the tax cuts for the white male is basically personifies their views that the world needs to be run by white male dominion, dominionism, dominion, <laughs> dominance over women, people of color, and the poor, because that's what it's all about. And we cannot allow this to ever 
become the new normal. Resistance must, must continue.